All right, guys, welcome to the Dial Up Chronicles. Today, we are going to get Juno to the Dial Up Chronicles. So, we already have the free um, Juno Dial Up Internet. But ever since the first time I got uh, Juno, we had the Juno speed band and everything was working really great. And then after that, it just stopped working because I guess because I have the free one. So it's been going pretty slow ever since. And so today we're going to spend the incredible price of $29.95 to get Juno um, Accelerated Dial-Up or whatever you call it. Yes, order now. Ooh, why should I consider Juno Turbo Accelerated Dial-Up? What are the system requirements for Juno Accelerated Dial-Up? What are the system requirements? Windows 98. Windows 98? What about Windows 95? Oh. All right, let's do it. Order now. Okay. So we're gonna enter our information. Enter your basic information. You're gonna create a new member ID and password. You're gonna choose a payment method. And we're gonna hit submit and continue. So guys, I'm gonna fill out all this personal information and I'm gonna get right back to you. All right guys, I did it. I just paid $29.95 for Juno Accelerated Internet. So it says, thank you, your order has been processed. Wait, you can still add extras from the list on the right, which we're not gonna do, but we'll look at it. Um, Here's a couple things I gotta blot out here later. Juno Turbo Accelerated Dial-Up. Member ID Dial-Up Chronicles. If you guys wanna email me, email me at dialupchronicles at juno.com. My password, ooh, I get a Norden activation pin. How to get started, download the software below, install on the computer use plan to use on the internet. Okay, but this is the exciting part. We are gonna get a Juno CD and welcome kit within 10 days. So that's gonna be really exciting. I'm in the mail. So guys, it should be working right now. So guys, I'm going to get my Get my dial up my uh, telephone jack hooked into the laptop or something like that and I will get back to you guys all right guys I'm back well surprise we are going to try to use Juno on an older computer I have that's running Windows 95 that I use that I've used in the past but never really been able to successfully browse the web with this computer and I'm hoping maybe because I have the accelerated, it will work better. So, we're gonna, um, we're going to, we're gonna set up a new connection since this is a whole new account I just made. We'll call it Juno Accelerated. And, um, God, I spelled that wrong. You know what? Let's just call it Juno Turbo. That'll be more fun. Okay, Juno Turbo. We're going to hit next. Um, we're going to, what is the number we're going to use here? We're going to use, okay, that's our local number. All right. We're gonna hit next. That was easy. 
That was too easy. All right, this may not work, but we're gonna try it. Okay, here, okay. Oop. Okay. Trying to use my keyboard with this camera in front of me. Uh, and I'm not doing too successful. Okay. At least I can do this for right now. Just whatever. Alright, let me get my phone so you guys can hear it. Definitely a moment of truth. We're gonna see what happens. Hopefully it works and everything. Whoops. Kicked my camera. Thought that would be perfect. And good. Sorry for the scrolling line. I don't really know how to fix that. Alright, here's my cam here's my phone. Let's hear a dial. Uh oh, there it goes. Okay. Now we're connected. For some reason, if I put the phone on speaker, it has some kind of issue. I'm not, anybody want to let me know? I know there's a reason, I just don't know why, and I'm too lazy to find out. But here we go. We are at 1388 bytes, received 3577 bytes in it, 115, 200 bips. I mean, bips, whatever that is. But we're online. Now I can turn on the speaker. Can you hear it? Okay. Okay. So now, can we use any of these apps? Cause see, I do have Juno on here, but it, it's, it's. I'll explain that another time. Go back and watch my video of me doing that, installing Juno. Or did I do a video on that? Maybe I didn't. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Let's go to Netscape Communicator. Let's see if anything will work. All right. Well, let's, let's type something to see if it works. I have a bad feeling about this, but let's give it a shot. See, it says it's contacting hostmy.untd.com. So, network error occurred. Oh, this is very depressing. Let's try Internet Explorer. Opening page. Okay, the page cannot be displayed. That's normal. Let's see. Hey, y'all. Who knows? Maybe something will work. Opening page, Wibby.me. Oh, the page cannot be displayed. Huh. It's there. Okay, guys, I'm going to get right back to you. I'm going to play with a few things, see if I can make something happen. Actually, never mind. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. Because this is the Dial-Up Chronicles, and I have to chronicle what I do. So, we're going to go to Control Panel together here. And we're going to go to Internet Options. Maybe we can make something happen. Because I've had this work on an old computer before, having accelerated dial-up internet, but I had the Juno. Anyway, let's see, security. What if we have low security?
restricted sites. This is hit low. Maybe that'll like make it work. Let's see if that does anything. It's probably probably none of this is gonna do anything, but we still we have to try. Cause you never know. What is going on? Okay. That is not a real Can't be displayed. Man. What a bummer, y'all. Um, bring this back down. Okay. Content. Oh, connections. first got internet we had e-tell that's why this is the default that was our first internet provider and I talked about that in one of and why it's great to have a home phone video okay programs hmm Look at all this. Uh, let's try use inline auto complete for web addresses. Passive FTP. Click on everything. <laughs> file system, blah, 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 blah. Okay, don't warn, don't warn. I doubt this is gonna do anything, but I don't know, who knows? All right, let's go back here. Try it again. It says opening page. Hey, it's going a lot slower. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I had hope for like a millisecond. And then I lost all hope. Wibby.me is a place where it's easier to find older websites that work with older computers like this. All right. Well, that was an epic failure, y'all. Very sad. Guys, I am really sad. Let's go back to Netscape just one more time, just in case. Okay. Let's see, maybe something will work this time. Maybe not. Yeah. How depressing, y'all. It should be working. It should be working, but it's not. And I have no idea why. Because I don't really know too much. 
but it's not. So that's a failure. All right. Line spring internet. What happens if I click on this? Wouldn't that be cool if it just worked? I mean, look, we're on the internet. It should work, right? Let's search the internet. Let's search for, I don't know. Let's type Yahoo or something. I have no, I have no clue. See, look, it says we're connected. Connected to Juno Turbo. All right, nothing's happening though. What if I click on this? What is it? What if I do that? What is this? Why is nothing happening? Oh, okay. What is this? Ooh, Excite. What? Excite Pal. What is this? Welcome to Excite Pal. Add someone to your. What? <laughs> hey, this is neat. We gotta get Excite Pal, y'all. Come on. Do something. Look, it even shows it down here. Alright, obviously nothing's gonna happen. That is just interesting. Oh, it says it's disconnected from Pal. Yes, I'll to exit. What's new? Take the five minute tour. So do I have to have internet to... It's just when I click on stuff, nothing's happening. Weather channel, what happens if I do that? Nothing. Nothing. We are doomed. If I click this. G. Favorites? What is the deal? Desktop? Huh. What is this? What, what's happening? Oh. Alright, let's try this. This isn't going to work. Because, see, I can't get past, if I could bypass this and just dial into Juno, it would work. It's not. But let's try it. I don't think I've filmed, I've chronicled this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Chronicles. All right. Problem is, wait. It says downloading user data. I don't think this ever happened to me before, y'all. Sorry, kick the computer. Sorry about that line too, y'all. I know it's just frustrating to see that. All right, guys. Hopefully, we'll get past this page. But um, I'll let you know if something happens. If not, we'll uh, we'll do we'll we'll do something different. We can still use dial-up internet. We just might not be able to use it on this computer. 
Hey, so we'll get back to you. Hey guys, I went to the bathroom and this has come up. Juno Display, there's not enough room on your computer screen to play Juno properly. Please hide, try hiding your Windows taskbar. I wish I knew what I missed though. <laughs> I wonder what it said while I was, but look, Dial Up Chronicles. Yes. Oh my goodness, dudes. It's, it's working. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Scott, thank God for this working, you know. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. And, um, okay. Guys, this is unbelievable. It's transferring my mail really slowly, but it is. Look at this. Oh, man. Hey, guys. So we finally got Juno dial-up internet working appropriately on this older computer that I had when I was like 10 years old that we used only for dial-up internet when I was a child. Um, I had tried several times before, and I was not able to browse the web with this computer, but now somehow we got it working, and I'm going to show you that more in detail in my next video. Um, this video is getting way too long to continue this anymore. So I will show you some surfing the web on this computer with dial-up internet. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse of this uh, transferring of email happening slowly. Catch us next time on the Dial-Up Chronicles.